determined to make it a book to be paid in. I want to start reading at the 10th verse. And the Bible says, this is Ephesians, the 6th chapter. <coughs> is this on? This on, go ahead. Is it on? Yes. All right. Ephesians 6. Sixth chapter, the tenth verse said, Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Put on the whole armor of God that ye may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. For he wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers against the rulers of darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Wherefore, taking to you the whole armor of God, that ye may be able to withstand in the evil day, and having done all to stand, stand. <clears throat> stand therefore, having your loins girt about with truth, and having on the breastplate of righteousness and your feet shod with the preparation of the gospel of peace. Above all, taking the shield of faith, for when ye shall be able to quench all the fiery darts of the wicked, and take the helmet of salvation, and the sword of the Spirit, which is the word of God, and praying always with all prayer and supplication in the Spirit, and watching thereunto with all preservance and supplication for all saints. And more. you notice about every bit of this armor is protective. Yeah. Yeah. It's to protect you. Amen. For we wrestle not yeah. against flesh and blood, but against principalities. Yeah. Right. Now that's the territory ruled by a prince. Yeah. Principalities. Yeah. And that's what we're wrestling against. Principalities, against powers, against the rulers of darkness of this world, <coughs> against spiritual wickedness in high places. Now it's often been said, and I've said it a lot myself, the mind is the battlefield. I yeah. can't see nothing. My glasses are off, but I can still read. Right. I can pull back on when I'm done reading. But the mind is the battlefield. Right. And if that don't sink into your heart, That's it's a God. big battlefield. Yeah. There's a lot of things in your mind. There's a lot of things you have to contend with. And most of the things is in your mind. Yeah. You know, the Bible said the devil was a roaring lion, yeah. seeking whom he may devour. Yeah. Now what you might not have known about a lion was when lions get old, they can't hunt. They're not capable of catching things. They slow down. Their bodies slow down because they're old. But their roar never goes away. They still have that tremendous, frightening roar. Now what the old lions do is they take these young lions that ain't capable of hunting because they don't have experience. They haven't hunted much. And they're young. They acquired the hunting ability a lion should have. And the old lion takes these young lions and hides them out behind brushes and things and waits to the antelope or the gazelle or whatever he's hunting to come by. And then he roars. Well, he couldn't catch it. He's too old. But he roars real loud and he scares it. And he runs it right into the young lions that's waiting, hiding. And that's how they catch the prey. And that's what the devil mostly does is roar. That's him, Lord. If we're going about with our lords, are going about with truth, we get on the breastplate of righteousness and the shield of faith and the helmet of salvation. Yeah. 
all he could do was roar. Yes, if the gazelle had a new and realized I left an old lion, he's broke down. He can't do anything but roar. Amen. He would have run the other way. He'd have run right past the lion. Went about his business. Amen. And a lot of times we let the devil bluff us out and scare us and we give up. That's the Lord. Remember, principalities yep. is a territory ruled by a prince. And that's what we're wrestling against. Yep. We're wrestling against principalities, against powers, <coughs> against the rulers of the darkness of this world, yep. against spiritual wickedness yep. in high places. Yes. Hallelujah to God. Bless him, Lord. Hallelujah to God. He yep. is greater. He is greater. Yes. Wherefore, taking to you the whole armor of God, yes. that you may able to may be able to withstand yes. in the evil day, and having it, having done all to stand. Now listen, most of this armor is to defend you. Yeah, that's what it does. It's for is to defend you. We don't really have to fight the devil. God's going to fight the devil. Yeah, yeah. Right. We just got to stand. <coughs> we just got to stand against him and wait on God. Hallelujah to God. He's been stand there for having your Lord turn about with truth. That's so we're not deceived or misled. That's what truth will do for you. Yeah. If you gird yourself up with truth, yeah. you won't be deceived or yeah. misled. You don't like the truth. Yeah. <laughs> and having on the breastplate of righteousness, Bless that'll Lord. keep your heart pure. Yeah. That'll keep people out of your heart. Because remember, out of the heart proceeds evil things. Yeah. Yeah. Adultery, fornication, lasciviousness, just all these things come from the heart. Exactly. Amen. If you've got the you're, hallelujah to God, if you've got that breastplate of righteousness on, amen, you can keep your heart pure. Yeah. And he prayed God. I'm feeling the Lord. Amen. I hope this is making good sense to you. Because yeah. it's made a lot of sense to me. I've studied this for years. I've read this for years. And I've always wondered where Paul got this idea. No doubt he was looking at Roman soldiers yeah. that had him in prison. Yeah. While he was there, he he noticed how much they had to protect themselves yeah, and just a little sword. They say what made the Romans such lethal warriors, amen, was their little swords. Amen. The other <laughs> soldiers had big swords and they'd have to raise them up. Yeah. And the Roman soldiers wouldn't. They'd run up and just, yeah, just, yeah, just, yeah. <laughs> well, the sword of the spirit is a two-edged sword. Yeah. Yeah. Sharper than any two-edged sword, the Bible said. Yeah. Amen, praise yeah. God. You don't have to just swing it one way. <laughs> you can swing it anyway. Wow. It'll clear your path. The sword of the spirit will clear your path. Yeah, it's about the only piece of armor. Yeah. It's prayer and the sword. That was before attacking. Yeah. It was one of the last things he mentions. So that's your last effort. When you do your last thing. Amen. Yeah. Yes, in God. No, let me get up. I don't want to get ahead of myself. <coughs> having your loins girt about with truth and having on the breastplate of righteousness and your feet shod with the preparation of the gospel of peace. Yeah. That's so we can walk straight yeah. and stay out of trouble. Yes. Yeah. Amen. You can walk just a little off the what path and you get in trouble. Yeah. Amen. Straight in the gate, the narrow is the way that leads us on the line. Yeah. And few that need to find that. Amen. Well, when you're on that path, you got to be careful. You do. Amen. There's a lot of side roads. Yeah. Amen. A lot of ways to step off. Yeah. Amen. But if you're street shot with the preparation of the gospel of peace, Amen. You're walking straight, man. Yeah. 
Yeah. You stay out of trouble! Yeah. You walk for the Lord! Yeah, you walk in his ways! Yeah. But you gotta have your feet shot. Yeah. With the preparation, you know, God <coughs> full of peace. And above all, taking the shield of faith. That blocks down and discouragement. Yeah. Amen. Fire and uh, yeah. You can take a small shield and turn sideways and kind of crouch. I tell them Roman soldiers would do. Yeah. They turn sideways and crouch. And they would protect them. They didn't leave themselves wide open. Yeah. Amen. They hid in the vulnerable parts. Amen. If you've got problems with something that tempts you, mm -hmm. don't make it so vulnerable. Yeah. Don't leave it in the open. Yeah. Protect it. Amen. That's what the shield for. Yeah. To protect you. <coughs> all the fiery darts of the wicked. And above all, take the shield of faith. Where, wherewith ye shall be able to quench all the fiery darts of the wicked. Amen. And any other temptations that come your way. Amen. You can block them. If you got the shield of faith. And you got to get grip on it. Amen. And you put it up. Amen. To guard yourself. Yeah. Bless him, Lord. Hallelujah to God. And the helmet of salvation. That keeps evil thoughts out of your mind. Yeah. I've never been able to keep evil thoughts completely out of my mind. Yes, Amen. Yeah. But I can keep them out of my heart. Yeah. Once they get in your mind and you don't get them out, yeah. Yeah. and they stay there to get in your heart. Right. That's right. That's when they're yeah. a problem. That's right. The, yeah. Any bad thought can come through your mind. And you can pray it away. Yeah. But when it gets in your heart, now listen to me close, it's harder to get it out of your heart. It is. It's much easier to get it out of your mind than it is your heart. <coughs> Amen. But if you got the helmet of salvation, <coughs> you can keep it out of your mind. Listen you keep more. your mind and your thoughts on the Lord. <coughs> yeah. Keep that helmet on just dry. And the sword of the Spirit which is the word of God. Hallelujah. The fourth <coughs> is the path clear. <laughs> the fourth was the fourth what you were attacking with. Yeah. The word of God is quick and powerful. Yeah. Okay. Sharper than any really two edged sword. Oh, yeah. It's piercing your sin sunder to the dividing yeah. of soul and spirit. Yeah. And the discerner. And is a discerner of the yeah. thoughts and intents of the mind. Yes, yes. Amen. Keep a good that <coughs> why the word of God is so important. Amen. Praise God. Yes. I always find it strange. I try to study the word of God. I try to remember scriptures. Yeah. I'm, but it's like I'm I feel sometimes like I'm trying to impress the God. Who wrote this book? Yeah. Which is old word. I'm really not. I'm trying to help somebody. I'm trying to remember yeah. the word to help myself. Yeah. Yeah. Because there's times, amen, when the tempter comes and when the devil comes. Yeah. Amen. Praise God. Uh, that scripture comes to your mind. Uh, and when you quote that scripture and declare that word, it feeds out you. Amen to resist and overcome. Oh, yeah. That's the Lord. That's why you need that word. Yeah. And above all, taking the shield of faith, or when you shall be able to quench all the fiery darts of the wicked, and the helmet of salvation, and the sword of the Spirit, yeah. which is the word of God. Yeah. Praying yeah. always. Yeah. Praying always. Yes, all the time. Praying always. Yes. Yeah. With yeah. all yeah. prayer and supplication in the Spirit. Yeah. 
and watching there too with all preservance and supplication for all things. Oh Lord God. Don't try to wear discouragement and doubt with optimism and faith. Yeah. They won't mix. Amen. You want to kill out the other. Amen. If you feel any doubt, amen, or discouragement, amen, shed it really quick. Yeah. yeah. Amen. You know, if you don't have the, uh, if you're not, if you're not dressed right, if you're not dressed properly, the cold will get you. You'll get sick. Yeah. The heat will get you. You know, people in desert countries wear light, thin, light-colored clothing. Thin, light-colored clothing. Just enough to keep the heat off them. Amen, but not enough to attract heat. Black attracts heat. Yeah. I noticed there's several of them wearing black today. Bless him, Lord. It's not real hot. You really wouldn't want to wear black in the middle of August. Bless him, Lord. You'd rather wear black in the middle of the winter. Yeah. Amen, in the summer you'd want to wear lighter colors. <coughs> Amen, praise God. Uh, but whatever, amen, if you're not dressed right, the weather will get you. The elements, amen, they'll make you sick. You'll get a cold or you'll get sunburned. That's my alarm telling me. It's 7 o'clock. <laughs> you wonder nobody was calling me. I got the call to cut off, but I can't cut the alarm off. Amen. Anyway. The raging elements will make you sick if you're not dressed right. Yes. Amen. You notice if you don't have no, if it's cold and then you're not dressed right, amen, you notice people huddle close together, amen, for warmth. Praise God. Hallelujah. And in the summer when it's hot, amen, people don't hardly sit so close together, amen, because they don't want to share that warmth. Amen. Well, the love of God is shed in our hearts. It's shed abroad in our hearts. We need to share the love of God. Yes, we when we're dressed in the armor of God and we put on the armor of God. Hallelujah. We can shed, we can share the love of God. Yes. Bless him, Lord. It, it, we only have to dress the natural man. Once or twice a day. I can see now. Not just the word. I can't see the Bible now. Amen. Bless the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise God. We only have to dress the natural man once or twice a day. And that's it. But the spiritual man we have to work on all the day long. Oh, we have to make sure it's easy. Yeah. Amen. We know we go around and tighten this. Smooth that. I'm glad to tuck my pants in. I'm fat. I've got a belly problem. Got a belt. And when I sit down, it, the belt cuts into my belly. I had a bad infection. I called from that one time. So I don't wear belts much, folks. That don't offend nobody. Amen. Bless the Lord. Hallelujah. I've got a couple of pair of pants I can wear a belt with in, in all honesty. But, you know, when I'm tucking my shirt in, well, people go around and smooth stuff and check the boy if we were that meticulous with the armor of God as we was our natural right. dressing. Right. If we worried as much about the natural uh, man as we did, the spiritual man as we did the natural man, right. how much yeah. better off we would be. That's right. I mean, it's, it's, we just, I'm like, I'm like anybody, I want to dress nice. I don't want to dress like a bum. Yes, Amen. Yes. I don't want my holes in my clothes and tears in my clothes and everything, but amen, praise God. Sometimes, amen, I, I get a pair of pants, amen, or a shirt that's so comfortable, amen, I don't want to get rid of it. And I wear that thing till it really looks horrible because it's such a comfortable shirt. And I, I, I have to quit well. It's starting to tear around the sleeve. Amen. It's coming loose around the collar. Oh, and then I have to quit wearing it. Well, the armor of God ought to be that way. We should never even think about 
take it at all. Yeah. It's real protective. It is. They give soldiers a certain amount of uh, gear. They give them a, usually a knife, they, sometimes a bayonet, and they give them a weapon, and they give them a pistol, they give them a rifle, machine gun, <coughs> and a pistol. Sometimes they give them hand grenades. Amen. But with all that armor, they get whatever weapons they give them, they still give them a helmet. Yeah. They don't give them a breastplate, but they give them an armor vest. Yeah. Yeah. <coughs> they don't carry a shield, but their helmet helps them. <coughs> and if a hand grenade comes and lands close to them, they can do like that. And that helmet will keep them from you know, co kind of cover their ears and you know, cover their head and they might get shrapnel on their arms and hands, but it'll save their head from being taken off their shoulders. Amen. Amen. Well, this armor, the helmet of salvation can help us when the devil <coughs> tries to get in our head. Yeah. Amen. The shield of faith will keep our heart pure. Hallelujah to God. Amen. Amen. And the fiery darts the devil shoot. Well, well, you know, I think I've said about all I can say. Bless him, Lord. I feel like I'm done. Bless that went a lot quicker than what I thought it would. When I studied that, I thought I'd be on the floor a long time. Bless him, God. But the Lord's a good God. Yeah. Yes, he is. Now, he God. wants to be dressed properly. Yeah. And the main thing in that. If you remember, he said, in praying always, with all prayer and supplication in the Spirit. Yeah. Yeah. He said in one place, he said to pray without ceasing. Yeah, we have to pray every day. Yeah. <coughs> That's the most important part of the armor. Yeah. It's praying every day. If we will pray every day, if we'll pray every night, if we'll make it a point to pray, we won't lose the armor. We'll keep it on. It'll stay there. We have to keep it on. It's not nothing we can lay down. No, Amen. Yeah. There have been people laid down important things. People went camping and went on journeys and hikes. And they'd stop to take a break and left their water. Two or three miles down the road, they down the path, they'd go to get a drink and realize, I, well, I left my water. Oh, how detrimental it was. Yeah. They had to go back to get it yeah. or take a chance on dehydrating. Yeah. Same way with armor. You got to keep it fast and tight. Yeah. You got to keep it fast and tight. And I feel the Lord. Blessing God. And I feel the Lord. I do. Feel the Lord. I really do. Bless him, Lord. Amen. Praise God. He's a great God. Yes, he is. Amen. We gotta stand. God all we gotta stand. We gotta stand and wait on God. Hallelujah to God. Yeah. Maybe the man in the Bible. He didn't have much Gideon. He didn't have much faith in himself. And God called him to deliver Israel. But he just didn't have no much confidence in himself. Amen. And the Lord told him he didn't, he just needed to believe in him. Amen. <coughs> well, when it come time to go to the battle, he was, still didn't have much confidence in himself. He told the Lord, said, Lord, I'm going to put a Fleece out before you. Yeah. Fleece a wall. And if I wake up in the morning and it's wet all around the fleece and the fleece is dry, I'll know you're on my side. Yeah. Well, it was just that way the next morning. Right. Well, he asked him again. He said, Lord, I'm going to do this again. But this time, I want the fleece to be wet yeah. and dry all around the fleece. Yeah. And it was, and he wrung a bowl full of water out. It encouraged him. Yeah, and the Lord told him that night, because he was still yeah. a little bit discouraged. Yeah. 
He said, I want you to sneak down to the camp. And I want you to listen. So you'll be encouraged. Right. And him and some of the soldiers slid, snuck down to the camp. Amen. And they heard some soldiers talking. And one was telling them about a dream he had. Yeah. And what had happened. And the other fellow <coughs> said, this is the Lord. Yeah. Amen. That's nothing but the sword of the Lord and of Gideon. <laughs> Amen. For God was Gideon. <laughs> and he's going to destroy us. Yeah. Gideon heard the dream and yeah. he took courage. Yeah. He went to fight. They had candles in in pitchers. Yeah. And when they right. gathered around the enemy, yeah. Gideon had given them a signal and said, break the pitchers and holler the sword of the Lord and of Gideon. Yeah. Hallelujah to God. When you get discouraged, when you get discouraged, yeah. it's part of being human. They no human that's never been discouraged. There's no human that ain't never been discouraged, hasn't been discouraged. Even the Lord got a little discouraged before they crucified him. When he went to the garden and prayed, <coughs> not mine will, but mine will be done. But listen, discouragement can't stop you no. if you'll stand your ground. Right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. <coughs> Hallelujah to stand your ground. Get discouraged, just stand your ground. Amen. Just know the Lord's with you. Yeah. Just know the Lord's on your side. To know that you just stand there. He's going to win the battle. He's going to fight the battle for you. All you have to do is stand. Yeah. Remember, you've got your loins girt about with truth. You've got the breastplate of righteousness. The heaven will have salvation. The sword of the Spirit. You've got that. Amen. That's what God gives you. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. You just got to keep it bound tight. I love preaching. I want to know I help somebody before I leave this life. I want to know for sure I help somebody. Hallelujah. God's been so good to me. Yeah. I've, I've yes. seen battles. Oh, I've seen battles that I really didn't see any way I was going to win until the Lord come by. Hallelujah. Yeah. And when he come by, amen, I see the victory. Now there's victory in this battle if we'll just stand fast and hold on to God. Yeah. He said, stand fast in the liberty for which Christ has made us free. Yeah. And be not entangled again with the yoke of bondage. If we'll just stand. Yeah. Amen. Like I said, most of that armor was for protection. So we can stand there and wait on God and see his salvation. Yeah. See his deliverance. But we gotta stand. Yeah, we do. He didn't say back up. No. He didn't say sit down. <clears throat> And he sure didn't say turn around and run. No. Amen. He didn't say to press forward. He said to stand. Yeah. Amen. Don't walk into trouble. Yeah. Stand. Yeah. Yeah. God will take care of you. Yeah, he will. God's on your side. Oh, hallelujah. Who else could be better to have on your side than the Lord? I mean, come on. Praise God. Amen. He beat. Amen. Every Marine. Every soldier, every pilot, every sailor in the United States, he beats them all. You'd rather have him on your side than all of them together. Hallelujah. <coughs> well, praise the Lord. I hope I've helped somebody. Amen. I'm going to open this altar up. It's all right. I'm going to open all yes. up. Yes. Anybody that wants to yes. pray, pray, anybody that needs to be closer to God, yes. anybody that needs to find God, anybody that's going through a battle, amen. You know, you don't see these battles. Sometimes I believe our biggest failure is to see through our brother, brother's burdens. Amen. You know, scars on your heart, you, 
can't see. I got a scar, me and Ron were talking about scars this morning. I got a scar on my hand that's real visible. I got other scars that's visible. I got a scar on my lip. Right there, it's pretty visible. Amen. I got a scar on the back of my head. Pretty visible. Listen. Amen. But there's scars on my heart. Yeah. You can't see. Them's the worst scars. Amen. You might have a scar <coughs> on your heart. Amen. But the Lord can heal it. Oh, yes. Oh, have a good care of us. I'm going to open this up. All right. If you feel like Listen. getting closer to God, <coughs> finding God, find yeah. your place at the altar. Praise God. Yeah. Hallelujah.